What's up guys, Trovo and Chris here, and today I want to talk about the Moto Z Arena Hybrid Tire. Not the gummy, but the regular hybrid. Stick around. Alright guys, so this is the Moto Z Arena Hybrid. Um, it's a 110 by 100 um, by 18. This is KTM 250XC 2017. And so, let's see. So the bike just hit 205 hours on it. Um, about eight months into this bike's life. <clears throat> so this tire has, um, let's see here. Let me pull up some stats. So I put this tire on at 176 hours. It's now 205. So this tire has 29 hours on it. And as you can see, it is pretty much shot. Um, I don't know. There's still some tread on it. I was riding this weekend in the granite and in the loam as well. And it was starting to suffer. You could tell um, braking was not very good. Traction was not very good. It's, it wasn't as bad as the Shinko was at this time in its life. It was actually better than the Shinko. What is this worn out? But, you know, it's, it's ready to go. So anyways... I bought this on accident. Um, I was trying to get the Arena Hybrid Gummy, and somehow, I don't know, I made the wrong order. But, you know, I wanted to try it out. I haven't tried a non-gummy in a while, so it'd be a good test. So the first thing I noticed when this thing was new was, first of all, it looked really cool. It had a, had a really sweet pattern on it. Can't really see it anymore with the slots in it. It's too worn out. But I like the look of it. And... I, where it shined was crossing logs. For some reason, it got really good traction on the logs, um, like biting into maybe slightly rotted rock or slightly slightly rotted logs. It got really good traction there. It got good traction in the loam. It got pretty good traction in the granite and through the rocks, but where I did not like it was downhills. Super steep granite we've been riding. We've been exploring all kinds of new stuff. And... It, you can't really drag the tire it, when it locks up it it just like slides it doesn't get a good tracking deck going downhill dragging your brakes like the Shinko did um, it makes a really loud noise when you're dragging it too if you watch some of my GoPro videos you might have noticed that um, but other than that it's been a great tire I was surprised it did not give me as much life I was thinking this would make it 40 50 hours maybe um, but considering the Shinko, let's see, here's my old Shinko, or one of them. I ran two of them in a row. I liked them so much. You can see how worn out this is. And this is, so this Shinko is at the same lifespan, um, as this. It has 30 hours. This one might have been 29, but I'd say it's, it's almost exactly the same. You can see the Shinko is worn out more, and you definitely feel it. But, you know, both tires, I'd say, are done. Um, I'm going to say I like the Shinko better, even though towards the end of the life, it wasn't as good in the loam. Um, maybe that'll change my mind come winter time when we're riding less rocks because they're iced over. I think it's a pretty, I think it's a good tire. It's worth trying. Um, but what I really want was this tire same tire but the gummy version as you can see it's way softer compared to these heart these aren't the hardest knobs but you know they're way harder than the gummy you can see the sweet tread pattern same tread pattern everything's the same just softer tire so i guess i'm a little concerned about the life of this gummy um i hope it makes it to 25 hours we'll see um but yeah, I'll do a comparison. I'll talk. I'll talk about it once I get it on and get it going. And we'll see how it, how it compares. But this is a good tire. Maybe if you're riding a little bit more, I don't know, pavement and that sort of thing, where you don't want it to wear out as fast. I'm assuming these harder knobs are gonna do better on the road. Um, but you know, compared to the Shinko, like I would say it's, it's it wore out just as fast, even though it wasn't a, a gummy. So. I still really like, I'd say I like the Shinko 505 um, Cheater Tire better than this. 
and this is definitely much cheaper. So we'll leave it at that, and we'll we'll check back in another month or so when when this thing wears out. Some of the other stuff we've been working on is getting some a rear hender, <coughs> getting a rear fender kit going for the trail bound straps. You see here we've got these loops with the bolts. Um, I've got it kind of mounted down here a little bit lower, so it's a little bit more stealth. Up here it's still a little bit higher. I'm gonna try to get some black screws or something. Um, this is a tool pouch I made. As you can see, it's nice and flat and low, which I really like. You, you don't even notice it. Um, nice, place for the, nice place for low weight. Um, compared to the front, I don't know, it's, it's similar. It's just another place to put to put weight. I wouldn't put anything tall like a bottle or a bag because um, you'll notice it when your leg is going over. Um, but this nice and this is a nice setup. I've got the straps tucked under there. So yeah, look look for those on the on shop.trailbound.co. And you know, thanks for thanks for supporting us. I'm always stoked to send out orders to you guys. So let me know if you have any questions about these tires or any of the tires I ran in the past. Happy to answer them on YouTube or Instagram. Yeah, we'll see you guys out on the trail.